everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting, where we are currently in the nether! We are on our little nether expedition looking for blaze powder from blazes so that we can hatch our eggs in the egg laboratory much easier. And I'm finding the nether isn't quite as scary as it used to be, mostly because we don't have flame penguins. Do you guys remember the flame penguins? Because I remember the flame penguins. They are not fun to have. However, there's no flame penguins present. There's a gas, and I'm trying to keep an eye out for it because I heard it make its little, its little gassy noise. But we're doing pretty good. So I have been hiding inside of this little build. I don't know who built it. I think like Ben or Mara may have done it. Oh, and I'm a little bit hungry. So we're going to have some pea fowl papaya blast. Mm. Refreshing, cool drink to have while you're standing on a torch next to a giant like mass of blazes. It kind of takes a while to harvest from these guys because you're like, hey, hey, come down here, come down here. So I've been uh, spending forever down here and just kind of collecting the blaze rods. As time goes on, come here you, come on, give me a blaze, dang it. And not all of them, most of them will give you blaze rods, but not all of them. Hey you, give me a blaze rod. So yeah, it's not difficult because they don't really do a lot of damage with the current armor that we're wearing. Because we have fire protection pants, yay, fire protection, yay. Hey, hey, give me your blaze rod. Did I get one? I think I got one. No, maybe not. But yeah, the, ouch. See, those little brats. So it's just like time consuming. So I'm tempted to like have our egg researchers in the future just sell us blaze rods because they're not really that big of a threat to us anymore. Hey, you. Hey, you. Yeah? Yeah? Take this. Take this. Take this. Blaze rods. Blaze rods. I want all those fancy blaze rods, please. All right. Stop. Stop. See? See? We're not, we're not doing that bad. Just a little bit of damage taken. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. Look at that, 51 blaze rods. So to get blaze powder, you just pop your blaze rod into your inventory and boom, blaze powder. So it's been a pretty easy peasy morning in the pigmen. We've been having some oinking. I still don't have my uh, accent down just right for them. What are those? Oh, mushrooms. Don't have my accent right down just right for them, but I'm thinking how cool would it be to actually like take over this fortress for them and maybe work through Pigman Fern as an interpreter. Maybe take over this fortress and turn it into like a Pigman paradise. Try to give them like a safe place because there's a gas floating around. Let's see if we can find that little guy. I see him. All right, we'll back up a little bit. There he is. Way over there. Way over there. Oh, is there another one? Ooh, I, I shouldn't really like, hello, sir. How are you? I'm trying to take care of your gas problem you seem to have here. How are you doing? Oh, you're, you're pretty cool, you know that? All right, what's that? Okay, there's more pigmen. Yeah, I don't see where the little gas went, but look, there's a nether garden. I wanna harvest the nether garden and see what might be inside. But yeah, okay, let's see. Got a lot of blaze rods, might try to get a couple more. I was trying to get a whole stack, but it takes a long time to collect it. All right, but I was thinking how fun would it be to actually come through and completely Let's get uh, rid of you. Let's get rid of you. But to come through and completely redo the fortress, so it became, hey, 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 stop that, stop that. So it became a pigman paradise. And what would a pigman paradise be like? Do you do you think, guys? All right, there we go. Like, what would they have? to be able, I think they would have safety from gas, so they would no longer be out in the open. I feel like they figured out how to make swords, but a bow and arrow is currently beyond them. So maybe they could have some bows and arrows. We could give those to them. Ooh, look at the ghast. He's checking out like Anubis's little ship thing. Is he, is he, like, he's an enemy? I feel like they're, they're constantly watching that ghast. So let's see if we can go around. We might look at the little ship too. I'm so, like, I can't believe we didn't bring, oh my gosh, what's that? <gasps> Look at that! There's one of the fire horses just hanging out on top of the ship over there. That is really awesome looking, actually. Look at the fire horse's little legs. Oh my goodness. Oh, he saw me. Hey, don't blow up those pigmen. Don't be rude. Did I just arrow his fireball back at, at like, me? Hey, be careful. You're gonna hit the horse. Where'd you go? All right, did we get him? He is a sneaky little guy. We got him? We got him! Oh my gosh, look at that! I can't believe that right on top of... Oh, there's another one. Fudge to the knuckles. We'll have to keep our eyes out. Also, I need to gather up some of this stuff while we're here because this is gonna give us lots of bone meal. 
There we go. All right, we'll gather some of this. And then, hello, horse, look at him. That is so funny that he's just hanging out on top of what is apparently Anubis's ship. So, <gasps> oh, she's Louise. Hello, snake. Lots of venomous snakes popping up all around the place too. So, geez, Louise, that startled me quite a bit. There's a couple blazes. I'll take care of them if I can reach them. There's another one of the horses. So there is a healthy population of flame horses hanging out here. <gasps> Woo! Make the blaze mad and he tries to knock you off, guys. Eh. Hey, you. There we go. All right, that's taken care of. Let's try not to accidentally, like, shoot some of the pigmen. That would be terrible. And there's that little snake. So we're going <gasps> to... Baby pigmen! Baby pigmen! Oh, I love the baby pigmen. I love them so much. I think he's with the parent, though. If I find any unattended ones... Okay, jump over the venomous snake. Run past it. There we go. All right, any ghast? Not that I see. But yeah, it might be a fun idea in the future to go ahead and, like, redo this area so that the ghast will be able to, uh, or so that the pigmen will be able to have, like, the fort, and it can be theirs. All right, so let's run across here, and let's go see if we can figure out what the heck's going on in that ship down there, because I think that would be kind of interesting. Where are you shooting me from, sir? Oh, jeez. Where are you? Oh, up here? Oh, boy. Oh, I got him. I'm pretty sure I got him. I heard his little, like, death rattle. Okay, we're doing good. See, the nether is always so interesting to visit because there's so many new things. Oh, look at this. <gasps> it's a gas deer. No way. From the one that we took out earlier. All right, and what's that? Oh, it's another grave. Oh, oh, no. The hell rat. It has been a while since I've run into you, my friend. Jeez Louise, he's tough. He's a tough little puppy. All right, so took care of him. I hear another ghast. Dang, I almost wonder if like my presence here is what is inciting them to start showing up. So let's come over here. Look at that. I love the fact that that horse is still just hanging out up there. And we're gonna come over and check out the ship. Oh and get out of the way. Oh, jeez. All right, what's down here? I know this place has already been raided, but look at this! Look at this! What do we have going on? We've just got, like, a fancy nether ship going on. That is so cool. Okay, do we have anything, like, nothing in the furnaces? Anything? Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Anything hiding inside of the little music box? Nope, nothing in there. Nothing in here. Yeah, nothing left behind, because I had a feeling this place has been raided, because I'm like one of the last ones to the nether. There's a pottery shard. There's a nether brick. Ooh, there's a big chest right here. Ooh, there's a relic scrap and pottery shards. Okay, so there's a, there's a few little scraps here, but I'm more in interested in like ancient flora and this ancient glass is actually really cool. Oh, there's, there's some chests back here. Has anyone like, okay. Yeah. Oh, there's Ben, who's probably been the one to, like, actually... Has anyone checked out this chest? Alright, nothing in it. Nothing in it. Alright, so let's climb back out. Doo -doo -doo. If I can get out, there we go. And I don't think I'm supposed to do anything with this. I think this actually could end very badly. If you, if you try to, like, poke him. So I'm not gonna poke him. In fact, I'm gonna ask Ben. Heyo, Benno! <laughs> Let's just do hey open. Do you know if anything odd happens if you poke the statue on the nether ship? I don't want to poke him if that's the case. How did this start on fire? I'm a little concerned about that. All right, so let's continue our exploration. And at least we have the blaze rods, which make me very happy so that we can provide nutrients or we can we can help our little oop, let's get out of the way here. Where are you? So that we can provide more for our little birds. So our birds can hatch. That's why we're doing this. All right. And there's the tail of that horse. Oh my gosh. All right. And we'll, let's figure out how to get out of here. We're going to... Let's see. If you surround it with intermittent figurines, it takes you to a news realm. Ah. The... Uh, can I steal the statue? I, is that a thing? I wonder if I can, like, dig it up and, and, like, take it and we can put it in our museum. That would be kind of... Oh, man, really? Fooey. 
That would have been so cool. Imagine having that museum relic, like in our museums. That would have been like, ho, ho, ho. Look how fancy we are. Oh, there you are. How about no? Get out of here, buddy. Yeah, no thank you. Why do I keep missing? This is harder than it looks there. Ha, huh. okay, now I feel better. All right, what do you say? Um, yeah, I poked it and nothing was happening. So I'm pretty sure you can't, boo, I wanted that museum relic. That would have been a really fun museum relic. That is actually, someone was like, oh man, we should go to each of the zoo crafter zoos and compare like how they've built things and their entrances and stuff like that. And that would be really cool like to compare the entrances, but I would really love to like see how the special exhibits, the specialty exhibits and the museums compare. That would be so fun. Like that's what I do in real life is like, I wanna visit all the museums and see what, how they're different. And imagine if we had had a really cool museum piece that was based around Around, um, a new though. I'm really not that into the nether stuff just yet. I haven't done a lot of nether research So it wouldn't be very fair to take it. Maybe that's some sort of like pigmen relic You can't really just go along here and like steal a relic from the pigmen rude rude It could have some deep significance to their pigmeny culture. So we'll think about it We'll figure out maybe we'll get a replica. We'll have a replica built. That would be pretty cool All right, so we've got some more bone pieces. Oh, what's this? I think, did I try gathering this earlier and it just poofed? All right, I got that one. All right, what do we have over here? Fire and flame. Always exciting. Reminds me it's time for another p file papaya blast. Oh yeah. But I think we're about good because we've got quite a few blaze rods that we can use blaze powder to apply to our awesome, um, our really awesome beautiful birds. So we'll take these back home. Put them on the bird eggs. Try hatching the bird eggs in the Australian bird aviary. I'm so excited. Maybe try hatching the hummingbirds in the hummingbird aviary, which is always very, very thrilling. Hello. Hello, pigmen. Ooh, there's a little piece of quartz. Um, anything else? I'm trying to see if there's anything else anywhere that we can really poke at. But really, like, the nether's kind of... It's a, it's kind of basic, no offense guys. I think that having like the lush realm of plants has helped me be able to grow my world a little bit more than theirs. Oh look, this is like, is this like the other end of a ship or a marker? The nether, filled with really creepy little markers that you have no idea what they mean or what their significance could be. And everything's on fire all the time. If it's your thing, that's awesome. Oh, there's one of those flowers. Okay, this is more like it. This is a serious thing. Rare flowers. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a blaze blossom. Come to me. Oh, try. I need to use the I need to use the the, the shears on those puppies. Jeez Louise. Alright, oh, it's another garden. And it's a ghast. I don't want to go near a big giant pool of lava when I hear a ghast, because that just sounds like trouble. Alright, let's get you. And then let's get you. What are you, my friend? Come here. This is a glow flower. Interesting. And you can turn it into glowstone dust <gasps> or seeds. What? What? We can make renewable glowstone? What? This is a thing? Renewable glowstone? The rare flower in the rough. Oh my goodness. Let's not walk on the soul sand. And oh my gosh. Well, actually, I think I need more soul sand. Do I need to collect some soul sand? It's been a little while since I've had soul sand, so I'm just gonna gather up a little bit of it for pigment fern. So if he needs it for like any gardening endeavors, because you can bet your, you can bet your pantaloons that I'm going to be giving this renewable glowstone source to pigment fern, because holy days, that makes life so much better. All right, let's go this away, and we're gonna continue to look. So there's glowstone, and then there's renewable glowstone. Now this is a find that I'm excited about. All right, so let's just gently come up here. Though I'm sure like maybe one day we'll bring some of our researchers on like a little trip so they can study a new ship. All right, let's get over here quickly. Oh my gosh. It's always a little hair raising to wiggle around these places. All right, am I in a more secure area? I think so, I think I have to get up there to get out of here. So let's keep going. Hmm, not quite, not quite. Oh, over here maybe? Yes, all right. And then there's just like, everything's on fire all the time. Was there recently a gas here? There's that little tree. One day I'll come back and we'll be able to get a sapling of that. 
Because that would be really cool to be able to get those saplings going. Even though the fruit doesn't do too much just yet. But you know what? Plants are awesome. Even if they don't do much, they're awesome. Alright, let's hop over here. Oh my gosh! Oh lordy! Oh, to the fudge, to the knuckles! Oh goodness! Dang it, pigmen! Why? The pigmen cavalry was out to get me and they attacked me! Why, you guys? Do you realize how much harder you just made life for all of us? <laughs> and it was because of the, the horses. Dang it! Like, attack of the pigment cavalry, huh? Look at all of them! Look at how many of them are on these things! You can stay down there, you guys. Yeah, back off. Back off. Oh my gosh. I'm in a little bit of trouble. This is why nether trips are kind of fun. Because you never know. I'm gonna have to sprint. Like, I'll get out. Oh, dang it! Oh, why, 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 why? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. That's what Siri has to say to this. And now there's a zombie head running around in the nether. The good news is, we know where my gravestone is. So I'm going to retrieve that and meet you guys in the egg laboratory in the morning. And the lesson learned here is not to go near the pigment on horses, because that sucks. <sighs> I'm going to get Ben's help, grab my stuff, and I will see you guys in the not-so-nastiness of just back home later. Bye, guys.